Friday, April 21st. It must be time for another legislative update from your North Carolina Medical Society. We took a week off. We had a long holiday, but the legislators are back this week, and they're busier than ever as we're racing towards crossover. Crossover is an arbitrary deadline put in place to make sure that bills, either in the House or the Senate, that don't have a fee or an appropriation attached to them, have moved from one chamber to the other, or else they're not eligible to be moved forward the rest of the session. All right, this is just a way that they manage the process down there. So any bill that doesn't have money attached to it, because money's uh, available to move all the way to the end, has to have gone through the entire process, committee votes, and then a floor vote in either the House or the Senate, and then moved over to the other before this deadline. The deadline is next Thursday right now. So this is when we start working late hours because we're passing lots and lots of bills. Uh, if you've looked at the calendars this week, you've seen that committee meetings have been every single hour all day long, and they've been passing dozens of bills out of each uh, committee. And so the calendars for the House and Senate are both getting very long. They're working late uh, this week, and they'll be working late next week. A couple of bills that we need to highlight for you. One is Senate Bill 629. It deals with balanced billing. And now there's an entire transparency clause in there as well, but the piece that I would focus you on is the fact that it bars you from any balance billing in the future. And if you were to do so, it puts triplicate damages on you for doing any balance billing in the future. In addition to that, it says that out-of-network providers will be capped. A statutory dollar figure will be put in place so that if your negotiations don't go well with the insurers, all the insurer is going to have to pay you is Medicare rates. We are absolutely opposed to this. You've received an action alert from us to go to the Senate Health Care Committee, which is this, the committee that we would think this would go to. If they're a member of the Senate Health Care Committee, I hope that you will take the time to write to your member and tell them how bad this bill is and how you do not want it heard. You oppose uh, them putting an arbitrary limitation on your ability to negotiate with insurers in the state of North Carolina. In addition to that bill, that insurance bill, we're still dealing with all the scope bills that are in place. Now, there's been a medical team task force put together by Dr. Cunningham. This doesn't have anything to do with the current bills that are in place. This has to do with the fact that Dr. Cunningham recognizes that there is change occurring in the system. We've talked about that a lot ourselves. And that we need to be thinking proactively in the, for in the future. What are we going to do about how we work with all the different members of the medical team? So to that end, we've brought together uh, representatives from all the different specialties, from some of the component medical societies, as well as some other folks, including the, uh, the executive from the PAs, to come together and have a conversation about what do we want those teams to look like in the future. And this group has met once, they're meeting one more time, and then hoping to make a report to your board of directors at the May meeting to kind of set a vision of where we go in the future. And like I said, this doesn't deal with the current bills. This isn't uh, something that we're trying to negotiate uh, uh, different solutions or different positions than where we are right now. Uh, we oppose the nurses uh, achieving the advanced practice, registered nurses achieving independent practice. We oppose the optometrists doing surgery right now, and we're going to continue to do that. And I hope that you will take the time to reach out to your legislators again. I know that we've done it in the House. You've done a great job of emailing your House members. We're going to put together another action alert for the Senate to make sure that you've had a, a tool and an easy way to reach out and talk to your senators about this as well, because we think the threat is on both sides uh, in both chambers, the House and the Senate. So be sure to be looking for that. Make sure you utilize that tool so that you've got the insurance, the balance billing uh, email that you need to look for. You'll need to look for this new one uh, on uh, scope to the Senate. If you cannot find either one of those in your email, then just go to our website. Everything is there. We've talked about the blog. One of the tabs on the legislative blog this year is the Action Alerts tab where you can go and click right through and find that Action Alert and send it right on. Very easy. I've shown many of you and I've shown a lot of groups how to do this uh, right in front of everybody while uh, giving my speaking uh, tours uh, during January and February, and it takes less than a minute even from a cold start when you're not uh, doing it from your personal email. So take the time and go do this. If you have a personal relationship with your senators and with your House members, now is the time to be having those personal relationship calls or visits back home because they're going to be really busy during the crossover time. Like, like I said, lots of committee meetings, lots of different bills, lots of uh, different conversations swirling around. So grab them while they're at home this weekend. Have that conversation. Make sure they know where you stand 
on these bills um, so that they can come back and understand that their constituents back home are watching and don't want these bills to be heard. We'll be communicating that for you as well from your lobbying team. So that's a lot to take in. Sorry for the length. Uh, I know it's a lot longer than we usually do, but now is a really important time. We need you engaged. You've done a great job so far, so keep it up. Uh, and let's make sure we get through this crossover period in a safe time. We look forward to giving you an update about crossover or hopefully being done uh, when we talk to you next Friday. Have a good one.